We're going to be working with a sign tonight. Um, welcome fall. And it also comes in garden flag. So now my signs will have matching garden garden flags. Hey, Vicki. Aw, oh, thank you. Everybody's orders went out and a bunch more came in today. So I'm going to be a busy camper the next <laughs> day or two. Hey, Willie. And it's Tag Team Tuesday. So after my live, Wilhelmina goes on with, um, oh, Wall Decor by Faye. How are you, dear? We're ready. Sunflowers. Whoop, whoop. I even pulled out all my sunflower signs so I could show you what's available. Oh, and here's, I had a request for some autism awareness signs. So we've got two signs here. They come in this size, the rectangle. This is 12 by six or the eight inch round. And they're also, um, there's gonna be one for a mom, a license plate for the front of the car. So let's get started. Okay, so I showed you the flag and this matches the sign. All right. Our, our theme this week for Tag Team Tuesday is um, sunflowers. So Willie's going to post her link to her page in the comments. So when I'm done, I have till 7 o'clock. No, 6. No, 7 o'clock. <laughs> and then Willie goes on at 7. And she's going to do a wreath. It's going to be amazing. Now what I chose to do with my sign is a little bit different this time. And I was inspired by two people. My friend Dawn did this. She made a rail and attached a sign to the rail. And then Lori made it the other night. Lori with hardworking mom. So I decided I'm gonna do this as a door um, decor, okay? Because um, in our area, we have storm doors. So a lot of people can't shut their doors because of the mesh. And some of them won't put it on the outside. So I decided to make something for the inside that was kind of narrow. So what I did was I took um, a candy cane frame and I cut off this part, the circular or the curved part. I had the piece laying here somewhere. Yes. So I actually cut it off at the crossbar right here, okay? And then I attached it to the sign. I have this heavy duty rope that has wire through it, okay? I wanted some height here, so that's why the ribbon is so long, because once you put that mesh on, hey, Susan, welcome. Once you put the mesh on, it cover up some of that, all right? And because it had wire in it, when I knotted it, I peeled back, and I didn't do all of it. I peeled back the roping and cut the wire down to the knot because that's gonna hurt somebody. And what I had to do was I had to use scotch tape to feed it through the hole because the roping was really thick. And this sign and the um, garden flag, I went ahead and I already listed it on my Etsy <laughs> so I've been working on my Etsy store almost all day and if you haven't gone into my Etsy boutique I can't say SHOP if you haven't gone on I would check it out I preloaded those bargain bins today and there are bargains in those bargain bins so you might want to check it out. Plus, if you're on my um, Robin's Resigns and More page, there's a coupon in there. So if you're not on that page, you might want to check that out. It's Robin's Resigns and More. That is the only place I list my coupons. So if you're not a member, you might want to. You might want to be one. All right, all right, so what I did was I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine tinsel ties on here. And basically, I just hot glued them like I would regular wreath base. Um, and then I've got one in the middle at the crossbar and then 
each crossbar there's one and there's one in the middle and that looks like that didn't hold so we're gonna shoot that again oh thank you yeah we got i got quite a few sunflower ones so um we've got this one hello hello fall it's done in two with two backgrounds this one and this one okay and then we have welcome to our home and then we have this the yellow petal flower farm that's in the farmhouse collection and then this one heard you coming now i did this with a a tobacco basket and it is already on my youtube channel so if you want to check that out all right so what we're going to do is i already have my mesh cut and this is an awesome way to use leftover mesh i decided i was not going to open another um roll so i went ahead and i chose the colors out of the sign now you've got greens in here you got yellow orange black brown you've got burlap um you've got your your black and white spots you've got your sunflowers so there's several choices in here that you can pull from oh i didn't hit return there you go all right so basically in the middle i decided to do three rolls of the colors that i'm using all right so you've got your moss you've got your black with the burlap through it and then i've got this burlap here and it's not really burlap it's like a faux burlap it's a mesh so these three i chose to go in the middle the very middle section because this was leftover ribbon i wanted it to look like it all went it was all cohesive, so. I'm not missing anybody, am I? Say hello when you pop on. All right, so we're gonna start out with the burlap, faux burlap, the mesh. Oop, we got a loosey-goosey there. So what's everybody working on? You'll have to check out my page tomorrow because I did a custom sign. Oh, I want to do ruffles. What am I doing? I did a custom sign for Dawn, and she just sent me the picture tonight. So I want to get that on there for you. She used the rainbow mesh, and it was a sign that had a scripture on it, a Bible verse. All right, so I'm just doing the basic ruffle. Okay, so basically it's going to go, why did that not, yeah, let me just double check here, one, two, yeah, I got an extra one in there, that doesn't go, this next goes the green, I'm just alternating, Again, I want it to look uniform. And like I said, this method, I saw Dawn do this with a sign. And then Lori did it the other night. And then we're going to use the black next. I know you all have leftover mesh laying around. And you guys are blowing up my Etsy store. I so appreciate the business. Thank you. Because I don't know if any of you have ever made signs, but a lot of work goes into these signs. <laughs> Willie can attest to that. We spend a lot of time modifying. And in my bargain bins, I, I was able to um, put some of the ones in there that have been modified so there's nothing wrong with the sign it's just been changed oh, 
man, I'm loving these colors together. And I may have put too many in here, but we'll make it look real pretty. <laughs> no, you always roll yours back into the wreath. So you probably don't have a whole lot of leftover mesh. But I do. So this is just a good way to use it. Isn't that looking cute so far? And again, it's just a candy cane rail. Let me see. That's it. We're supposed to go on this one. You know me, I use my tinsel ties, which are now listed in my Etsy boutique. Because I can't say S-H-O-P. So you guys will have to check it out. I've got white and I've got this taupe all natural color. I want to pull these up a little because I want those to stand out the curls because I think we're going to put um, a sunflower right in the middle and you know how easy it is to attach something to the tinsel ties and how the hot glue grabs it really well much better than you, it would if you were using um, pipe cleaners just saying and Lori used them the other night so that's, I'm rubbing off on people. Let's see. Okay, and then we do, 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 do. There's Susie. Hi, Sue. Sue is busy packing. She's going to sell that house and move away. Florida. Any of you want to move to New York? Sue's got a great house for sale with acreage. All right, now we're going to do the black next. Thank you, Willie. Everybody had a good day today? I got a lot done today. My husband was helping my son. And so I had the whole house to myself. I think he just came home. <laughs> I've been tidying up my Etsy store and going through extra material and throwing it in the bargain bins. Some stuff's already selling out, so you might want to check it out before they're gone. Okay, so here we go. All right. See, and this is up far enough that it's not going to interfere with that. And just hang it on the door. Thank you, dear. I appreciate it. So, all right. So, my plan is I'm not sure if I want to do ribbon tails or not. Let's see. I thought this went well with that. I don't know put the one sunflower in the middle. No problem. How's that water situation, Esther? I hope it's getting better. Let me just kind of dry fit everything in here and then see if I want to do the tails or not. I thought it'd be really cool 
to put some pumpkins on the end. So maybe we could do some, put the pumpkins in the green. I think we'll put the pumpkins in the green and then I think we will do some ribbon tails. All right, so I think I'm gonna cut go with about a 10 inch because I don't think we need it oh no I leave my scissors upstairs I did no ah. I left my big ones upstairs I know that much let's do two of each color and then see if we need any more so with this, I am going to use, let's see, that I had planned on using with that. But this I had planned on using with that. Let's see how that looks. Kind of, let me see. No. I'm liking that. I'm liking the moss. But the moss is bigger than I wanted to go. But we could ditch this one. I'm just talking out loud. <laughs> Sorry. That can go with that. This can go with this. And this will go with that. There we go. Alright. Problem solved. So let's do two of these. Again, we're cutting these at 10 inches. Hey, Dawn. Dawn, I'm using your method. I went ahead and attached this sign to the bottom of, well, to a partial candy cane. Lori did this the other night, too. And we're using leftover mesh. So no rolls of mesh have been opened at all for this. So I'm cutting two of each color. And don't forget, it's Tag Team Tuesday. And Wilhelmina goes on after her, I do, all decor by Faye. She was supposed to post the link in here. Oh, cool. Hey, Nanny Dot. How are you? And then we have the sunflower ribbon. And if any of you are available around 2 tomorrow, I made these all by myself. So I will be using this in a design tomorrow. It's a country goose. It could be a country Christmas goose. It could be whatever. So that will be used tomorrow. And then they will be for sale in my Etsy boutique. Hey, Nancy. How are you? So, we are cutting, we are dovetailing our ribbon tails. Yep. I even put some gnomes, I put some girl scarecrows, I put some wreath attachments, frogs, bees, ladybugs. Um, turtles, bears, preloaded in my bargain bin in my Etsy shop. Yes, right? It needed to be brought back, didn't it, Vicki? <laughs> hey, Joy. I'm trying to catch everybody as they come on. Sorry if I don't see you right away. 
I have the smaller computer tonight. All right. There's Boggins, Boggins, Boggins. And if you're not a member of Robin's Wreath Signs and More, you might want to go in there because there is a coupon in there. And if you're not a member, you don't get that coupon. All right, so I'm going to glue, and you know how easy it is to glue stuff to those tinsel ties. It grabs. I saw Sue using tinsel ties today. Which plaid ribbon would that be, Barb? On the top shelf in front of me. Oh, over here? Oh, this one. I sell all my ribbon by the yard. Wow. This one's only 26 cents a yard. Ooh. All right. So we decided we're going to put the, the orange and black with that. And then put this one with the, um, the moss color. So I'm going to start with the moss. I'm going to put it on the end. No, we're going to put the pumpkins on the end. So we're going to start with the pumpkin. See how easy I caught myself? Hey, Sue. No, we can't say that, Sue Merck. Not allowed to say that anymore. Lori put out a, a thing the other week that um, has on there what we can and can't say. And that was one of them can't say the L word, we can't say the S word, we can't say the other S word. <laughs> so we're kind of stuck as to what we can and can't say there. All right, so this is going to go on the... Uh -huh. Wait a minute. Dang. This is supposed to go on the moss. There we go. Uh, Nancy, I went ahead and I put a link in the comments to my Etsy boutique, since I can't say S-H-O-P, <laughs> and tell your son we said welcome. That's awesome. It's always nice when you get to see your children, isn't it? There we go. Now we're cooking. I hope you're having a good time, Brian. All right, so, all right, so over here, I am trying to think out loud and do it at the same time. <laughs> this is fun. Okay, this is going to go on the moss colored. There we go. And this is all from Leftover Mesh. Hey, Peggy. Peggy, did you see her face plastered all over my sh my story the other day? I went on to share Peggy's um, live and it went straight to my story on my phone. And her face was plastered on my phone almost all day. I was trying to get it off there. I didn't want it on there. And it was when you first started and you looked like you had deer in the headlights look good i'm glad you did because <laughs> i thought she's gonna think what the heck is she sharing my face on her story for <laughs> it was quite hilarious i'm like oh i kept waiting for you to call and say what are you doing all right so these are going to get glued on the ends and then i think what i'm gonna do i have some leaves in here can kind of scatter those throughout too. I think those would look nice. Just to brighten it up a little. Yep, it got quite comical. <laughs> I thought she's gonna think I've lost my 
my marbles. Okay. So I'm using all leftover stuff. That I can put in there. No. All right. You know what I'm going to do? We're going to incorporate some of the. Oh, look at that. We're going to incorporate that in here, too. So that's already got leaves attached. That'll look nice, like, right there. Ooh. Let's grab some of this. Oh, yeah, baby. This came from Sims. My tag team member picked it up for me when she was down there. And everybody was... Telling her, grab this, grab that. I think we're going to incorporate these in here, too. Unless they look like they're going to stick somebody in the face. Maybe not. Alright, I need one more of this kind. And let me get another one, because there's not another one on there. Well, there's not one on here, either. That's weird. Huh. Alright, so we're going to put a different one on this side then. I really thought there would be two on there. Yeah, we'll make it different. What the heck. And then we're going to do a bow. That's Dave's favorite. Or Steve's. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Alright, so I'm gonna put that there with that with those. Oh man. This is gonna be so cute. Better pull the price tag off, right? Did you ever use just regular rails and a the plays for your sign. No, I haven't, but okay, my son just got a CNC machine. Notice mom's smile because <laughs> I'm going to have him so busy. You have no idea all the ideas that are rolling around up top here. So we got some fancy stuff coming. That's the way I like to roll, Nancy. And there's my other Sue's. Yep. I'll just bend those tinsel ties backwards so they don't get in the design there. See how easy that attaches to the to the tinsel tie. There's so much there for it to grab onto. It's awesome. I think I need a yellow one there. Let's see. Yep, we do. So how many of you are going to try this? not finished with it. He still has um, some bugs to work out. He's waiting on a part. So as soon as he gets the part, we's going to be busy. And he just got laid off too, per indefinitely. So he's all excited because he's going to have time. I think I like this this leaf. Put that in there. Just as something to perk it up a little. Yep. Aw, thank you, Nancy. That's so sweet. Oh, look at all the hearts. Oh, you guys are awesome. There. We just needed something with a little bit of different color. All right. 
So this, that was on the green, right? So this is going to go on the green here. I, I strive to be different. And I'm having a hard time with it. Because so many of us have the same, we're finding the same designs for signs. But it is what it is. Did I put that in the right place? No, that was to go over here. Wasn't it? Yes. And then leaves would go over here. And we need some yellow right there with a little bit of green mixed in. So. It is Sunflower Tuesday. Tag Team Tuesday, our theme is sunflowers. Right, Will? Will was conflicted. We weren't sure what we were going to do right away. But we got it. I love this big old sunflower. Throw one of those in there to offset that coloring. It's screaming at me. There we go. All right, then we're going to put our pumpkins on the end. Now, let me see. There's a way. This in here with our pumpkin. Yeah, still doesn't look right. But it needs something there. Maybe one of these bigger signs or bigger leaves. Yeah. There we go. All right. Hey, Carol. How are you doing? So glad you could join me. And like I said, this is also available in garden, garden flags size too. Yeah, that's what it needed. It needed that green leaf there. I gotta turn this under. I'm leaving enough of the tinsel tie up so it has something to grab to. And I'm going to put my glue on the tinsel tie and then just hold my pumpkin in place. Just for a few seconds. Ooh, this is looking pretty. may need something in there. So, let's push that down a minute. All right, now we're going to do the same to the other side. Let me get my stuff out of the way here. Is that up there? No. We need two of these leaves. going to nip at the leaves because I want to keep the, the sunflower attached there so I don't lose it. All right, so we're going to do the same thing over here. I'm going to turn these downward so they will disappear into the mesh. Oh, look at those colors. Mm. I just love them. And then we're going to glue our leaf down. And 
hold it a sec. Some of these leaves look like they need to be ironed. All right, and then we'll put, after we take the price tag off, we'll go ahead and put the glue on the tinsel tie and then hold the pumpkin in place. And actually I could, I could stick the pumpkin right into the tinsel tie. Let's do that. Let's see, where's my needle? I'm going to trim it. So we don't need all that. Put a little glue in there. That's what's so great about these tinsel ties. I'm telling you, they're the best thing since sliced bread. There. Okay, that's the bottom part of it so far. Isn't that looking colorful? Get our spider webs off. Hi, Jonathan. How are you? Long time no see, bud. I'm going to stick this and glue that the way I glued that one. So, I need to pull that back up and trim off some of it. not to burn myself. There. All right, there's what we got so far. And like I said, this wasn't my creation. This was actually Dawn and Lori did this. So now we are going to work on the bow for the top. So, gonna get out my my Bodabra that Willie and Steve bought me. And we need a zippy tie. And we also need some tinsel tie roping. I absolutely love this stuff. There isn't anything I found that it can't do. Hi, Arla. Oh, good for you, Jonathan. Sue's putting her house on the market on Saturday. Or next Saturday. All right, now, I want to think this through a little. Because, where did my green go? got the green, got this, we've got this, and we've got this. So, you know me, we are going to throw some of this in there too. We've got it in the sign, okay, the black and the burlap, and we've got the black with the burlap here, and this was strictly all leftover mesh. I did not have to have to open a roll of mesh. So this is going to be the bow at the back. Okay. Here we go, Steve. <laughs> Steve isn't paying attention. All right. So let's move that to the side. And let's see, I don't want it to hang down too far. So I'm going to do about 10 inch on my um, tails. All right. So I'm going to do about 6 inch and then flip it. Mm 
measure it this way. Just checking my time because it's Tag Team Tuesday and Willie's on next. Will, did you post a link? Maybe. Let me down here. That way. There we go. First one who goes on on Tuesday only has an hour. So, we've been doing this for well over a month. And we just love it. We're sharing people and picking a theme and having a good old time. So, I'm just going to put this down here to hold it. So, I did four loops. And let me dovetail here. Just making sure my tails are about the same size. Alright, next I'm going to use my green. And I'm only going to do Again, a 10 inch tail, but I'm only going to do two. There, Lily posted the link to her Facebook page. I hope you all go on and check out the sunflowers that Willie's working on next. She's got some cool stuff planned. This is the next color to go on. That's a little too long. That's better. I know what I'll be doing tomorrow, cleaning up my ribbon before we work on our goose. All right, so we got these two. Next, we're gonna do the pumpkin. And I'm gonna do it about, uh, about a finger width difference. And I think I'm only going to do two loops again. Yeah, oh. You know how I am with my ribbon tails hanging down the wrong direction. So we're going to snip this up here. And we're going to turn this around. And we're going to put it in the back. So our ribbon goes in the right direction. See? I cannot stand when ribbon is upside down. I don't know why. I don't know. It just bugs me. Let me see. Yeah, I think that's good. Now, this is what I'm not liking. That color on top, so... Let's do this one next. And let's do let's do four of this. Yes. So we did four and two and two. And we're gonna do four. And then we're gonna only have one of this hanging down. Hey Susan, welcome. Yes, better late than never. We're just glad you could be here. Thank you. Why is that a little too long? I need to shorten that just a little bit. There we go. All right, so we got four of this. <coughs> Now, with 
this, I'm going to cut off a piece, okay? For those of you who watch me all the time, you know what I'm doing. Pulling out the wire. And then I do, I fold it in three. Okay. Because when I put this loop in, I'm going to use that. Well, welcome, Candace. Thank you. The hen signs say this one over here. Home is where you roost. That was done on um, two candy canes tied together. We've got eggs in there. We've got roping. Uh, I love farmhouse. But then those of you that watch me know that. <laughs> That's in my Etsy store, and there's a coupon in Robin's Resigns and More, if you're a member. All right, so we need the zip tie. I don't feel brave tonight, so I'm going to do it while it's still mostly in the... Thing. So I'm going to pull this down a little more, and then I'm going to put my tinsel tie in the back, and then we're going to pull on it really good. Hey Lillian, how are you? Yep. Alright, so then what we do with this, I do this all the time to disguise the um, zip tie, because sometimes you can see it, and you don't want to. So we just took the wire out of that. We're going to have it bring it around back and tie it. Gives a nice little pop of color in there too. There we go. I'm going to tie it one more time and then ditch it. The leftover. All right, now before I fluff, I'm going to finish dovetailing. And I think it's really cool that you can have a sign, because I don't know about most of you, but my mailbox is so far away from my door that I can't put like a matching bow on the mailbox to match the wreath on the door. So that's why I like to put the garden flag out there next to the door. I have a little garden there, a little walkway. So I also have cardinal flags. Um, there's initial flags. So let's just fluff it out here. A little pop of yellow in the middle. Looks fabulous. And I don't know about you guys but and gals, but I love this black. This ribbon with the black dots. That's so country, so farmhouse, so me. I'm going to get this to go that way. Yes, I do. And most of my signs already have the ribbon in the listing. But if they don't, you just contact me. In fact, I posted pictures the other day I um, the puppies are gone and in their new homes and doing awesome so I finally was able to 
um, put all my shipping and and sign making all in one room. So I've got all my inventory, ribbon inventory, the tinsel ties, everything's in the same room. And it's awesome. Except I'll probably have another litter in about two months. So I'll have to move everything out again. So I have one that just went out of heat. So there we go. Doesn't that look pretty? There's something about this though. It's bugging me. There we go. But it's so nice and so organized and I'm having a blast. Okay, these are going the wrong way, so I'm just going to twist them and get them going in the right direction because we got our tails going in the right direction, so it has to match. I know, right? It's just so nice to have a little garden flag out there. I have the cardinal one out there now, so I'm going to have to make a sign it's different from my my cardinal sign that I have now so and I may uh, take this back and knot this a little further down like I think I think this could stand to come down closer to the mesh so I will fix that there that looks better and then we'll put this at the top here. And I can, even if I wanted to, make an extra hook here for hanging too out of this. I love my tinsel ties. I got Sue using it now. I've got Lori using it now. I'm out to change the wreathing world. Ditch those pipe cleaners. They rust. They break. They're no good. All right, there we go. Let's hang it up. Oh, I don't have a hook. Yeah, I do. It's probably not a very good background, but... Doesn't that look pretty? What do you think? Thank you, Esther. I know, right? It's always, it happens when I'm in class. When I'm in Lori's class, that's when people start coming in or the phone starts ringing. I know. I hear you. So you have that on your door and then you have this out on the walkway coming in. Thank you. Thank you, Jeanette. Jeanette, did, I, did you have an order going out this week? I shipped a lot of stuff. So there we go. It matches the flag. And if anybody wanted, I can remove fall and I can put, we can figure out a way to incorporate your name on there somehow too. Welcome to the, and then put your name across there. I can personalize the flags too. So there we go. All leftover mesh. No rolls were opened in the process of this. <laughs> All right. How am I looking? Look at that. Five minutes. Woohoo! Did good. Thank you, Jeanette. Thank you, Je Candace. Thanks, Susan. Thanks, Peggy. Thanks, so. Thanks, Susan. Thanks, Jeanette. Must have been last week I was thinking of them. All right. It's Tag Team Tuesday, and we went over sunflowers. These are all the sunflower signs I have. I did this in a tobacco basket. So on my YouTube channel, there's a whole tutorial on that. We've got the yellow petal flower truck sign that has sunflowers. 
Welcome to our home. I have sunflowers. Hello, fall has sunflowers, and I did that with two back, two different borders. So you have the option of one or the other. <clears throat> and then our new autism signs. These are the 12 by six. We have it in circle. Thank you. And we have it in, um, it's going to be in a license plate for mom also. So there we go. All right, I hope you all go over, thanks Sue. She's one of my biz buddies. I hope you all go over and you tell Willie I sent you and I'll be on there as soon as I jump off here. And thank you. And don't forget, Robin's Wreath Signs and More, if you're not a member, go to that Facebook page and join. There's a coupon code over there. And in my Etsy boutique, there are three or four bargain bins. Lots of bargains. All right, guys, thanks for joining me. Have a great evening. Bye-bye.